Hi everyone, my name is Gabby. So for my video, I am going to show you how to take care of a guinea pig and possibly spoil him as well. So guys, meet my little baby, Ozzy. So the first thing you have to make sure of is that your guinea pig always has enough water and hay like readily available all the time because they do look for it. The type of hay I give Ozzy is the KT Timothy hay with mango. This one has little mango pieces in it, which he seems to be loving so far. I change out his water once a day because somehow he does get backwash in there and I don't want that to create bacteria and get him sick. Next is his food. I feed him the All Living Things Market Medley Guinea Pig Diet and he loves that one. Me, personally, for Ozzy, I always leave his bowl out with food because I've tried to put him on a schedule and he just won't eat at all if I do that, so now I just leave his food there all the time. He's pretty good about eating by himself, too. Guinea pigs do need to eat a lot of vitamin C because they're unable to produce it themselves and they'll get sick if they don't get that, so I use treats to give it to him. Luckily, his food and the hay help with that as well, but a little cherry tomato or celery, or in this case, lettuce, he really, really loves. Oh yeah, so I live on a farm and I also have bunnies, so here's a little clip of them playing as well. Guinea pigs are known for their lung problems and the type of bedding you use could really affect them. I use natural aspen bedding which produces the least amount of dust for his little lungs. It's also pretty absorbent as well and does a good job at masking odors. I change out his bedding once a day and I deep clean his cage once a week. To clean it, I use the So Fresh Habitat Cleaner which is safe to use around small pets. As far as bathing him, I use a product called Citrus Magic Pets. If his fur gets a little dirty, but for the most part, bathing is not recommended and they mostly clean themselves, so it's not even a big issue. I do brush him out once a day though, because he sheds a lot. During the day, however, when I'm home, I'll just let him run around the house so he doesn't feel trapped in that little cage so often. Here's a clip of him playing with the bunnies. Guinea pigs are really lazy, so you can't expect them to run around all the time like puppies do. But they are really lovable, and I think Ozzy really does love me back. So that's pretty much it. This is how you maintain a spoiled little pig. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Say bye, Ozzy!